Hello and welcome back. Today we will do lecture 2-1 on robot control. Recall in this course we're going to discuss several control architectures and the industrial controller P, PI, PD, and PID. Recall that the four control architectures that we talk about in this course are reactive, deliberative, behavior-based, and hybrid. The objectives of today's lectures are to describe the four robot control architectures, to describe the difference between local and global control, and to describe the differences between modern and classical artificial intelligence. There are many great robotics related toys on the market, but one that I really like is the Roma robot because it illustrates many of the AI control algorithms that we discuss in this course. The cool thing is that it is designed around an app on your cell phone that you attach to, the base, to a base to turn into a robot. Let's take a look. another great graphic that I use to represent the landscape of mobile robot control. Some of the challenges in mobile robot control are that the world is dynamically changing, no compact model is available, and there are multiple sources of error as we've already discussed. Most functions are local and do not involve localization or cognition. Localization and global path planning are slower and should be performed only when needed. Local control occurs more frequently in the real world, such as random wander or obstacle avoidance or wall following. And global control occurs less frequently as needed, such as localization, path planning, mapping, etc. Control approaches. There are key differences in the control architectures, and they are described based upon classical or modern artificial intelligence. Classical AI is based upon a complete model, function-based, horizontal decomposition, and it is very similar to deliberative or hierarchical control. Note in the graphic, it states that for classical AI control, you would start with sensing, perception, and then move on to cognition and localization, planning, and motion control. In contrast, Modern AI control has sparse or no modeling. It's a vertical decomposition or bottom-up. There's one possible solution, but you can combine approaches which are good for emergent behavior. So think about behavior-based and reactive control when we talk about modern AI control. Note in the graphic that the sensors can trigger any of the levels. 
and parallel execution of data, discovery, goal or object detection, obstacle avoidance, or wall following. And this model does afford emergent behavior. Hybrid control is a combination of classical and modern AI. This is similar to how linear control systems is separated into classical and modern control, where classical control is in the frequency domain, has transfer functions with a single input and a single output, whereas modern control is in the time domain or state space, and there are multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Remember, there is no one correct approach it just really depends upon what's ideal for your system, your goals, or the robot's tasks.